YouTube, Creeposaur from Creeposaur Inc. here, and today we're back for some more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! content, and today we're going to be talking about a really awesome tech card that came out of the first Premium Gold. It's called Silent Wobby. This card came out in the first Premium Gold, and it's been kind of a sleeper until now. Uh, this card is really becoming important because of the, you know, whole Burning Abyss thing, running rampant, and a lot of people needing sides. A lot of people choose to play the card Flying Sea, but the main event of today is talking about Silent Wobby, so I'll blow that up, like, right here, so you guys can see it. Anyway, so its effect is that you can set, uh, you can special summon it to your opponent's side of the field on your turn, and then period in that sentence. Then what happens is that you get 2,000 life points since the the entire effect is kind of confusing. I'll just dumb it down for you guys so that everybody can understand what it does. So you get 2,000 life points, your opponent gets to draw one, and then it limits his hand size to three. Unlike the whole flying C where you can special summon it uh, when your opponent normal or special summons, and then you can special summon their side of the field in defense position, and then also they can't exceed. But the problem is, they can't really exceed if they can't summon any monsters that are Burning Abyss anyway. So that's not really a big deal. Plus, a lot of times, sometimes they'll get around the whole Flying Sea thing because it is level 3. Another thing is that uh, Silent Lobby, he's level 4, so they can't really do anything with him. They can't do anything at all, at all unless they, you know, Dark Hole or something like that. But even then, a lot of the time, they'll only have 3 cards in hand because that card's effect is they can only get 3 they can only have 3 cards in the hand. So that's really, really great. This card is amazing for this format, and I don't understand why more people aren't playing it and they're citing Flying Sea more, but personally speaking, I'm going to be playing uh, Silent Lobby. I want those 2,000 life points so I can put myself ahead just in case we go into time. That's really important nowadays, especially when you're going up against, you know, the Mirror, which is happening more and more because Premium Gold 3 came out, allowing a lot of players to get these awesome decks like Cosmo and Burning Abyss, and a lot of other really co cool cards, but these two decks are the most prominent things in this format right now, so when you're getting into a mirror match and you just want to get that burn with Barbar, -bar, but then you have this silent lobby in the mirror match you have those 2,000 life points that put you over the top so when you really think about it I think this card is gonna be so much more important and so much more versatile than flying C will ever be right now I know people like their flying C and everything and I think people are gonna keep playing it more but just personally I think that silent lobby is so much better all around and especially for the fact that it's gold rare and it really matches your burning abyss deck anyway guys Thank you so much for watching this video. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below or what tech cards you think are really, really good. I know there are other ones like Santa Claus, but I don't think they're just as relevant right now because they can, you know, turn it around on you because he has high attack and everything. But this one, it just has so many effects that are so good. And I don't understand why people aren't playing that much, so definitely I want to hear you guys' feedback. And as always, I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe on all that stuff. I messed up my outro, but it doesn't really matter because the content on this video is all too important. So you guys should definitely like and subscribe. And as always, hope you enjoyed.